A fall chill is impacting regions across the prairies. As we take a look at some of those temperatures for this afternoon, down towards areas of Regina, a high of 31 degrees, areas into Brandon 30. However, that is all thanks to this low pressure system. The warm front associated with it is pulling more of that southerly air in, causing those uh, warmer temperatures. But as this cold front departs, it's going to be leaving cooler temperatures on the back end and gusty conditions through this afternoon into the evening. Areas across Winnipeg can be looking at 70 kilometer per hour gusts and on the back end upwards of 80 heading into Monday with those temperatures dropping almost 20 degrees. After two days of cloudy weather, I know I saw a little bit of sun peeking through and we're going to have that same thing continue as we're heading into our day on Monday. A little bit more of that cloud clearing out as we head towards our Monday morning and then into the evening. Doesn't that sound great? Well, that's only going to be temporary, so enjoy it while it lasts because we are going to be taking a look at this low pressure system, the cold front associated with it, tracking all across Canada to bring us some showers heading into our day on Tuesday. Now, fortunately for us, the rain doesn't really move into areas across the GTA until we head towards our evening into the overnight period. So areas across Toronto, the uh, Brampton, Milton, all the way up until Orangeville can be seeing some of those showers after around 6 p.m. and in through the overnight. Yes, it is going to be a good amount of rain and it will be heavy at times as well, but it's not going to be very heavy rain where we have to worry about maybe cleaning your gutter, gutters out, but do clean them out, especially since we are in fall. Taking a look at 10 to 20 millimeters widespread according and in accordance with this cold front. Now with it, we will see some of those temperatures drop as we're departing. So as we're heading into our Wednesday overnight, since that cold front really moves on through, we will be looking at single digit lows for your day on Thursday morning and those temperatures bump back up.